anxiety, worry, fear. It is common these days to have for anybody in this first moving modern society. Today I'm going to share one Japanese custom that would be a remedy to help to overcome fear, anxiety, worries. So, Junbi means preparation in Japanese. You might think, okay, preparation for what? But in Japan, preparation is much more profound than actually getting ready for something. So, for example, if you ever worked with Japanese, you may have surprised or even get annoyed how much effort and how much time and energy we the Japanese spent on one project or even to get started for something. So you might be waiting, when is it going to happen? Because the preparation period is very long. So you might be wondering, yeah, okay, Japanese, they spend lots of time for preparation. So that was example for pre project. But even in daily life, we prepare things in advance. We make planning, but it's not just a planning, but we do actual preparations. So I can also share with you how this pre preparation process, not only tangible result, but intangible result, it's helpful. And also in another benefit is also manifestations. It's also leads to great manifestations. So why this preparation helps? for anxiety. It is just so simple because we get overwhelmed with many ac activities and things to do. We have, for example, some people make to-do list and it could help because when once we write down what we have to do, we know and it releases our anxiety because we can visualize what has to be done. So preparation is one step ahead. So for example, some of you might feel, okay, I'm spontaneous and I like to do things spontaneous. That was fine. But if you tend to worry or to have anxiety, then this spontaneous attitude would not help. So, for example, I travel a lot between Europe and also for long distance as well. So if I have to prepare everything in the previous night because I'm busy, etc., I get worried from the morning or the even previous evening, just, okay, um, uh, or oh, I have to do this and that, and then stress level will go up. So I don't like that. So then preparation helps. So it's not just doing everything in one go, but a few days before my mind start preparing for my trip. Oh, I need this clothes, or I would use these toiletries so I take it one by one whenever I think, whenever I noticed something would lead to preparation, uh, lead to my packing, I will put things together. And the previous day before my departure, the packing becomes so easy because I can just put all things which is already prepared in advance to put into the suitcase or in my little bag. So then my stress level will re reduce or my anxiety or worries get reduced. So I also don't forget about things. So that's, that's the physical, material help, tangible side. And intangible preparation is also, this is also how, you know, related to visualization as well. If you tend to get stressed, worried about, for example, giving talk or lecture or presentation, speaking in public, or even for school project, work project to present, then you can also go through, you can prepare mentally. When I forget everything in the middle of the talk, what shall I do? Or it's, it's not a plan B or something, but mentally prepare so that you have some scenario that you worry about because these things go in your head. Uh, oh, I might forget these words, I might forget this sentence, or I get nervous in the beginning, what shall I do when I get nervous? Or people might think I'm not good enough. And so it becomes like the uh, domino effect and 
it brings our energy down. So, okay, if I get nervous on the stage, what shall I do? What shall I say? And you can actually prepare, you can visualize the solution in advance. So by having that, by preparing for the solution, we, our stress level, our worries, anxiety can be reduced. This really helps. I have done many times, not only uh, for the, my work, but also in personal life as well. Okay, if these things happen, I might, I would be scared to feel really sad. And what shall I do in that kind of case? So this is also the part of preparation. So preparation is not only for physical preparation, but when we think about the actual events happening, we are already there in our energy. And another nice preparation is we can actually think about the actual events and pr prepare for the wonderful celebration uh, because the things go so well and then, okay, when things go well, I would jump up and I I clap my hands or something like that. So you can also prepare for the nice things would happen as well. Then when we already bring our feelings there, it is also easy to walk. So we are creating the path for solutions or a great outcome, which is like manifestations. So preparation is really creating the path. So when we know steps, the path, it is easier to, to walk. Imagine just if you are on the edge of the cliff and if there is no staircase to go down, you'll be scared, right? So preparation is really creating these steps and staircase to go to the actual events and go to the outcome. Thank you for watching. And I'd love to hear from you as always. So please comment below and I'll see you next time.